Carlithia Russell, a.k.a. Carly Russell, 25-year-old woman from Alabama who went missing on Thursday. She was driving along the interstate and interstate 459 South, to be exact, and she reported seeing a toddler walking along the side of the interstate by themselves. And Carlithia called 911 like, hey, there's a kid, um, whatever. She went to, pulled over to help this kid. She, in the same time, called a family member and was on the phone with the family member who reportedly said they heard Kalithia ask the toddler, are they okay? And they didn't hear a response to anything. Next thing they know, they heard a scream from Carlithia. And that was it. Silence after. The phone didn't disconnect to anything. The line stayed open. But no further communication. And this happened on Thursday. So now when the police arrive, they find her car with the driver's side door still open. They find her hat. They find her wig. They find her cell phone and some other belongings. All still there on the side of the road, but no sign of Carly. So where is she? Everybody's wondering. It made national news. It definitely hit the blogs crazy. And people all wondering, where is she? What happened? My initial thoughts was, yo, because we all know human trafficking is super real right now. And my first thoughts was, damn, they used this kid as bait to get her. Like, put this kid on the side of the road and the the first person that comes and tries to help her, we, we taking her. That's what I was thinking happened. And... I still feel that way. I mean, even though now she's back home, but I still feel like the kid was bait or whatever. So um, Thursday, no signs. Friday, they have this whole search mission going on. I've read that it was like 50, 60 officers at a time, like out there searching. No signs of Kalithia. Saturday, all day, no signs. Saturday night, Kalithia comes banging on her parents homes door which is where she stays around 10 something they saying 10 45 p.m is when they got the phone call 911 got the phone call that Kalithia was back home it's unclear where she was i don't think she's saying just yet what happened or they just not releasing it just yet but i want to know I'm super curious. I want to know what happened. Um, some people are speculating that it got too much attention. So whoever her kidnappers was said, nah, we got to we got to let her go because it's too high. There's so many missing girls, missing women stories that we don't hear about. And they go unsolved because it don't get the attention of the Internet. And since Carlithia's story thankfully got the attention of the internet and went viral, maybe it was a little too hot. Like maybe there's a larger operation at stake that these people can't risk by keeping this one because it's too hot. That's one theory. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else. Like, because some people was even speculating that she made it all up and she was hiding, which is super dumb in my opinion. But because it's like where where she was hiding that unless there was somebody else involved, like they the police got there and found her car, her phone, all of this. Like where where would she be? If she's on foot. If it's if we're going based off that theory that she made it all up, where would she have been? How far could she have gotten before police arrived? 
that no one was able to find her for two days. So I'm going to scratch that one out. I'm just super curious to know what happened. Her boyfriend released a, a statement thanking everybody for their prayers and stuff. And he said that she's not, she's unable to say she she's been through um she was fighting for her life for the past two days is what he said and she's i guess so still so shaken up she's unable to say exactly what happened to her so that gives me that she's not even telling the family what happened and that has to been something super traumatic like who knows she could have been tied up in somebody's basement somewhere thinking that it was over like, so that's possible that she's so shook up that she's unable to say, but when she is ready to speak, I'm ready to listen. I want to know exactly what happened that day. I want to know how she made it home. Like how far was the, where the interstate is from um, the house, like where, where she was for two days, like, cause two days that's a long time to be like missing and these stories don't always turn out this way like i was hoping for the best but thinking like damn what if i see that headline that they found her body like because that's generally what happens in these in these cases where someone's missing and his days now passing it's like at each day that go by, it's like, damn, the chances of them finding her, like, are, are they going to find her? So to see that she actually made it home safely is dope. Like, I'm happy to hear it. I just want to know what happened. Um, but yeah, the internet is always going to internet. Some Someone was accusing a boyfriend of being a part of it. It's, you know, the conspiracy theorists. It sounds good, so... It got to be. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully she's able to make a complete full recovery mentally and all of that so she can get back to her life. Maybe she'll give an interview to Robin Robert to somebody or Oprah, or somebody about the ordeal. Or I don't know. Just go live on Instagram at the very least. Let me know. I want to know what happened. And, and maybe your story could help other women of what not to do. I know for me, last thing I'm going to say on this is it definitely makes you leery about being like a good Samaritan. And, and when you hear situations like this, assuming is everything that she said it was, it makes you leery because you never know what people's intentions are. I've been driving and I've seen cars broken down on the side of the road and the guys outside the car, like fanning for, pe for, for people to come to help him. And I thought about it. Like, I've been tempted, like, you know, looking through the rear view, like, damn, should I, should I help him? Because maybe he just needs a jump. I got jumper cables, like maybe he needs a jump. Like, but then on the other hand, it's like, I don't know, because you'll never know what people's intentions are. Now you pull over to be the good guy, thinking you're doing a good thing. And this man got ulterior motives. Now you robbed or something or worse. Like, it's, it's bad that we got to think like that, but you also got to be super cautious because it's the times we're in. You just never know. Just never know. So just got to be careful. Um, call for help from a distance or something <laughs> like just, I don't know, kind of gauge the situation. Like if it's in some like secluded area where no other people are around. I don't know. You might want to use extra precaution when, when it comes to uh, doing a good thing.